WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got a positive market at record territory right now. S&P is positive by 17 and a half points, trading at 3,093. Dow Jones up 259 points, trading 27,751. NASDAQ positive by 61 points, trading at 84.72. Quite a day to the downside for gold on the inverse of the markets. Gold down $28 at 1464.60. Notes and bonds, you want to talk about some higher yield, folks. The 10-year, talk about lower price. 10-year, negative a point and six ticks at 128.04. The 30-year bond is approaching three full points in price to the downside. The 30-year down two points and 26 ticks at 156.05. The dollar index up 262 ticks at 98.214. And that is all happening on the heels of some trade optimism. Early this morning, we get a announcement from, and we'll pull it up right here. Why not? We'll start it off. As the report that China and the U.S. have agreed to roll back tariffs on each other's goods in phases as they work toward a trade deal. Treasury yields hitting a 14-week high on their biggest gain since 2016, while gold declined the most in six weeks. Excuse me. There are your headlines. Jumping over to the charts, we're going to start it off with a chart of gold. Quite a downtrend. The slide begins early this morning. The announcement from China on their state media happening at about 2 a.m. Gold was trading at 14.93. You made it all the way back up to 1489 on the opening bell, but then man oh man, from 930 until 1140, gold slides to negative territory, actually reaching a low of 1461 in the yellow metal. S&Ps, quite a different story. There's your trade higher on the news of a possible uh, de-escalation, I should say, of those tariffs. You have the S&P, which traded at 3,075. Futures market actually made it up to 3,096 at one point. NASDAQ 100, 82.64, reaching a high right at noon of 82.78. And there's your Dow 30, 27,712, reaching a high of 27,734. In terms of other moves in the market taking place, we'll zoom in on this one. Roku, quite a day to the downside, off 11.2%. And after the bell, we get the streamer, the new streamer coming to the market with their service November 12th. Disney up 1.25% of their earnings after the bell today. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up live at 1 o'clock. Dave White live at 2. Tom O'Brien live at 3. We'll be right back.